Thank you. My name is William Phillips and I'm here at the Coppell vs. Flower Mound District game. Tonight, your Coppell Cowboys are fighting a three-way battle for playoff seeds against the Flower Mound Jaguars and the Marcus Marauders. The game that is won or lost is far away from witness. Behind these lines and out there all alone before they dance under those, those lights. lights. With a district title on the line, whatever it takes to be the, to last, be the last man, man, man. stand, stand. With the big hit by senior Carter Bocci allowed senior Ryan Hurt to tie up the game. The last inning of the game, Flower Mound fought back hard with loading up the bases and then scoring two runs. Giving them the lead late in the game and taking the win. With the defeat, Coppa falls to 12-9 on the season. I thought we played really well. You know, we, we had one bad pitch. Games like this are so close that one bad pitch can, can you know, lead to two runs right there. Your Coppell Cowboys lost to the Flower Mound Jaguars 5-3. And now to Vinny at the next game in Flower Mound. Thank you, Will. My name is Vinny Vincenzo, and I'm here at Flower Mound High School. Your Coppell Cowboys are taking on the Flower Mound Jaguars once again to secure a spot amongst the top three teams in their district. Coppell looks to seek revenge from Flower Mound, this time with the University of Central Florida signee, Elijah McCormack, on the mound pitching. Just like last game, Coppell was off to a fast start, filling up the bases. A huge hit by senior Nick Menard set up a run for Josh Bartolese. The momentum kept on coming in, just enough for Blake Jackson to score a run. And Ryan Hurt to increase Coppola's lead in the third inning. But yet again, Flowerman fought back by scoring two in the fourth inning and two in the sixth inning to take the lead. Three to four. At the top of the seventh inning, the lightning siren sounded. It was time for a 45 minute delay. Listen, fix them to resume it. They got to go to the pen. You're going to get that same kid we got the other night. A lot of fastballs. We can score two. Nick, you'll have to get warm. Elijah doesn't have very many pitches, if any. All right? So we're going to go back out there, take a little time to warm up. Y'all can score two. Got the part of the order we want up there right now. Let's go get them. The delay gave Coppo time to regroup and lay out the game plan. Coppo's last chance to pull to a win comes down to this. Josh Bartolese, first the bat, out. Blake Jackson, second to bat, out. And then Hudson Polk to bat, out. Coppo falls to Flower Mound. We just go out there and keep fighting. There's nothing else we can do. I mean, we're only in control of so much, so we take care of our part and hope everybody else takes care of theirs. Oh man, it feels good. Coming off a couple bad losses last week, this week we bounced back and we got the dub. Your Coppa Cowboys lost to the Flower Mound Jaguars 4-3. They are looking forward to taking on Irving Nimitz in their upcoming games. Now, back to the studio.